What's up everyone, this is Shirt Talking, welcome back to my channel, today's video is about the, the Magic Legend Conquest, this is a new conquest, and love conquests, we get plenty of rewards, first of all, let's check the shop, there are plenty of things to get here, there's new equipment, a right helmet, that is actually just an endurance based helmet, and then we have weapons for goddess and creator, and pieces for the new styles, then books, platinum tickets, these platinum tickets have Strumnikin, so maybe you can get him. And book of secrets, amplification badges and gold pieces, plenty of gold pieces, I guess this shop is already full, so I don't expect any new addition later. But let's enter the event, there is not many stages available right now, because it just gets more stages daily, two times it will just add more stages a day well uh there are small nodes medium nodes and boss nodes well the small node is just normal we just fight against many enemies like you can bring a combination of multi-elemental attackers this is kind of the best way to handle the situation here well i have some different strategies for this and i can tell you that the best one and the only one that i managed always kill all enemies was by using Matriarch 4 with Inheritance of Shining Glory and Saruin in an Amazon Raid X formation because they are just so strong they can do 8 power AoE attacks twice in a row. And we open with Shining Glory, buffing Saruin so Saruin does even more damage. You can bring 3 trainees on this, and this is the best formation and strategy to use. So, any small node will have different enemies. There's no. Uh, Fix it enemy here, you just go, and that's why we have to bring multi-elemental attackers to try to hit the weakness of the enemies. But with this composition here, even if you're not hitting any weaknesses, you will just clear all waves easily. We are just too strong. If you don't have Saruin, you can bring someone like Rapina or Rick. They are going to be the next best thing. Now, one good thing about this event is that it drops many different materials. As you can see, um, we can get this ancient metal chunk so that you can upgrade weapons. You will also be able to get mold pieces of different weapons. And if you are running a stage that's not 100% yet, you'll be able to get even more. So, good because you get status and also better because you can keep getting materials for Forge. There's only one bad thing about this, is that you're only getting two points of status instead of three. Some conquests had higher status gains than this one. Another strategy that I run for smaller nodes is Bertrand with Abaddon Hands Inherited and Subir in the front line. The formation is Magia Fight. Sometimes they will not kill the targets and that's why you bring trainees in the middle, those that you want to level up skills or spells. Here I'm bringing anyone, but you can bring cards that you just acquired that need to train their skills. So when they don't kill, they actually use their skills to level up. So the good thing about this formation is that when you bring Subir to the front, he's gonna use his fast attack and help Bertrand kill targets. Sometimes one of them can be alive, but on the second wave, you always have Abaddon Hands available again with your Bertrand. So they together will try to kill the enemies. When you get this wave, the Tiger, the Jaguar actually, usually survives, so someone in the middle will have to finish the enemy. Like I said, bring cards that need to train their skills. Now, if you don't have those powerful characters, you can bring three damage dealers instead in an Amazon Raid Axe formation, since this formation increases 50% for all slots. Human for News is on a rerun banner, many people who have access. Just inherit Spinning Trample for his S style, and then with Yudon, you should go with Phantom Raven. Leave the BP like it is right now, so that he just uses Phantom Raven. And then you can also bring Cordelia with Sprinkle. It's a very powerful combination, but three characters, you can only bring two trainees. So, I am not bringing Alosis here because I still don't have him, but he's actually very good to be used, and you just bring him on the second line, don't bring him to the front line because he may not kill targets, and if he does not kill, he does not get BP back. But if yours has a very powerful weapon, he can just solo farm sometimes. So think about that, if you have Alosis bring him, he's very powerful on this farming. One other good strategy for AoE is to bring a 
Apollo, but you do need to bring Meteor Swarm from Inheritance and Creator in the back. Creator is a very good farmer, sometimes he just one shots at all with his chains attacks. And Magical Shower X formation increases their turn order. You can bring someone in the front line like Valdor with his Vortex Breaker inherited because he just has a delay skill, meaning that he does not try to act before then. So they kill the first wave and they get help from Valdor on the second one. And you can bring two trainees. There are other characters with delay systems like Leon. Leon also works. You can bring Leon here just fine. Okay, so I guess this time will be very easy since these enemies are actually weak to sun. Well, this time, creator just, yeah, like I did, he just killed it all. There's no problem because Apollo does not break his cycle. Both characters don't break cycles. We even got a full combo here. That is too much. Overkill. No need of this. <laughs> now let's move on to the medium node. This time around, the medium node has a predetermined battle. So you can plan and just bring someone to help you kill the enemies. Like, we have a wave of four enemies and then on the second wave there's only one enemy that cannot be instant kill it. But you can bring uh, this combination of Matriarch with her uh, Light Strength Lunge Inherited and Bertrand with Abel Hands on 10 so that he will just kill one enemy and have Twilight fall for the second wave. This will work if you need, you can bring trainees in the middle. I have very powerful weapons for this combination. That's why it works. So, the good thing here is that you can bring Rainbow Rangers formation. And you are using fast attackers. And they will finish the first wave by themselves. So, you re Ravok on the second wave with any character that you bring. Night Shrink Lunge deals around 54,000 for me. Twilight Fall finishes the enemy. Another method is to use Amazon Raid X Formation and Matriarch 4 in the front line, and you're gonna use Shining Glory. You need her UDX style to inherit from. And Subir, here in the back, you can just use Vortex Spear on 11 BP and Wave Trust on 8 if you want. You can train Double Trust this way because it's exactly the same LAR power to Wave Trust. He opens with AoE and then use a single target attack later. This will not kill the enemy, so at least one of your trainees will have to do some damage. I'm using weapons with 60-70% increasing damage, so yeah, may not be for everyone. They don't kill the tiger. Well, it has more difference, but they don't. The good thing is that because Matriarch is buffing, it helps anyone finish the enemy. For the next strategy, I bring Magia Fight Formation and instant kill some of the enemies on the first wave. So I'm bringing Victor's Blade. And here in the back, I have four Neos, because I can use Tyrant Wave on the second wave with Twisted Skewer on 10, so that he has the delay attack, will not try to attack on the first wave, that allows just Albert to kill, and you can bring three trainees. So Albert just can't instant kill the Skeleton, it's the only one that survives. So your trainees, you have to do a little extra damage here to kill this Skeleton. And then, on the second wave, we have four news with his Tyrant Wave, that's extremely powerful. And then, Heaven on Earth will kill the Dragon. Now for last, the boss node we will unlock with each update. We have the first boss, Ezra. He is extremely tanky. I suggest you just do this while we need to farm to reach 100%. It's not a good place to farm status. But I'll be showing how you can do it fast. Well, the first strategy brings Hurricane, the new formation. This one is actually pretty good. You can bring one buffer in the front line. Can either be Matriarch with her Shining Glory. She can even use it twice if you have the right inheritances. And in the middle, you bring Mages. In this case, I'm bringing Joe because the boss is weak to cold and heat. And then she's just using Spectable Portal and Splash. Then in the middle, I have Apollo with his Massa Moon Fury. And then he inherits Massa Moon Plus. 
The other one can be Goddess. She has Purge, Enlightened, and Mass Summon Plus. Very strong combo. And then Zeke in the back, because the back gets Dexter to increase. I'm using Balrash program. If you don't have, you can bring Rofus. He also works well. Well, this formation increases the agility of the frontal character, the buffer. So we get circulating Hayo first, most of the time. And then it increases the damage of our mages. Nasimune Fury is very powerful. And then Barrage Program, that's heat damage. A lot of damage and it depends. Sometimes you get two heat, sometimes you get three, four. But it takes two turns to finish Azra. There's no other way. This boss has too much HP. And because you have to bring a dedicated squad, well, it's not so good for farming status. And well, maybe the best way to handle the situation for most would be any mastery formation with four mages in the front line and a buffer in the back. In this case, I'm bringing Leon because he just increases 10% damage and even 5% more to Sun, 5% more to Slash. And then I have the Lunar New Year Blue with his Waking Dragon, so Light's Inherited. A good attacker is Miss Surfing from Christmas because she can use Squeeze twice. Then I have the latest version of Barthelemy with Inheritance of Scatter Explosion and Polka with his Scatter Explosion too. This is going to be very strong. If you don't have these attackers, bring someone with your best code and hit setup. If you get very lucky with your number of attacks, you can finish this in one turn, but usually it takes two turns. And I do have good weapons, it's just that Azura has too much HP. Once more, this is not good to farm status, just to help the community finish the boss. We still have to play light, but it has delay, it attacks only after the boss. And then on the second turn, we just finish. Now we don't have the passive working anymore, but they will finish it off anyway. But that was the last strategy, guys. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it helps with your farming. Please subscribe if you haven't. If you want to support the channel, there are links on the description of the video. I hope to see you soon in the next one. Bye.